What's up, Star Wars Familia? It's your bro host, V. And I'm Daniel Miller. And I'm Chris Ryan. And we have a stacked show for you guys today. Three comic books on shelves today. One is The Rise of Kylo Ren, number four. Star Wars Bounty Hunters, number one. And Darth Vader, number two. So, uh, you better buggle up, baby. And let's punch, punch it. it. We start this off on Corellia, flashing back to a botched mission with a deadly six. Baylor Balance, Boba Fett, Camus, Tongor, Bosk, and Nakano Lash. Speaking of deadly, more on that in a moment. Things get deadly and messy when Camus kills a client and then Lash shoots Camus. It's just a mess. So keep that all in mind as we go to present day, and by present day I mean between episodes five and six, and Balance is on a job in Batu. After this proves to be successful, Balance's attention is alerted towards a puck that might just interest him. Word on the street is this job is big. It harkens back to that Corellia mission in the very beginning of this story, and it seems everyone's got a stake in it. Like, everyone. Call your mom. Tell your friends. Everyone. News of this mission, it seems, for some, is just what the doctor ordered. So we have a couple of cameos in this issue. Also, it's always fun to explore that seedy underbelly of the galaxy. I love Corellia. And also, I love that we're learning some more profanities from a galaxy far, far away. Shout out to some women in love with each other. This issue and this series is shaping up to be something special. Check it out. As with the start of this series, this issue starts out with a huge blast from Vader's past as a woman who looks a lot like Padme is standing face to face with the former Anakin Skywalker. Now this has Vader flashing back to Geonosis where faced with certain death, Padme confesses her love for Anakin. Now after some harsh words and a blast attack by this Padme-ish woman, Lord Vader force chokes her then immediately flashes back to the last time he saw Padme and what he did to her. Later, her identity is revealed and both Lord Vader and his mystery woman have questions on Padme's death since they both have differing stories. Will they find the answers they're looking for? And more importantly, how? Make sure you pick this one up at your local comic shop to find out. In the mid-rim on the mine moon of Mimbam, Ren, his knights, and Ben Solo are on the hunt for a special artifact called the Mind Splinter. And they have the Mimbanese captured, looking to find. Now instead of killing the Mimbanese for not telling them where the Mind Splinter is, Ben has another idea, a little mind meld. That's Star Trek, but you know what I'm talking about, everybody. And he gets that information. You remember what he did to Poe, Ray? Now, Ben thought he was sparing some lives. The Jedi inside of him did not want to see all of these people be slaughtered just to find a Mind Splinter artifact. But boy, was he wrong because Ren and his knights, yeah, they released them, released them into the afterworld. Yeah, we don't leave no prisoners. Even Snoke said their ability to have fluidity lets them do whatever they want to whoever, anyone, whatever. Now you can tell Ren is questioning Ben's commitment, but as they face off with the Mimbanese, because they're not gonna take this lion down, Bo and Ty come into the picture to stop Ben or to save Ben. What's he gonna do? Now Vo, with all that confidence of Luke Skywalker's training, thinks that she can take Ren and the Knights. We'll see, and Ty, decides to take on Ben because he believes he has a connection and can reach Ben. Will he? As you read this comic, you'll find that Ben is stressed out about the legacy, the burden left on him by his uncle and his parents. He believes he never had a choice his entire life, not even his name. He was named after some Jedi he never even met. Through his eyes, through his point of view, Ben believes that people only look at him as a legacy, just some continuance of the great big three. But when it comes time for Ben to present his good death, who's it gonna be? Vo? Ty? Somebody else? You're just gonna have to read and find out for yourself. Thanks again for joining us for another quick shot of Bro Axiom. If you like what you see here, please give us a like and subscribe. And also follow us on all of our social media. We are everywhere, people. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And may the Force be with you. Always. Always.